you. We did it. Very nice. Very lovely. Four leaf clover. I got a home for you. The final piece of the puzzle is coming together nicely. What's hiding in this desk? Chemistry. The cash handle. Here we go. Open cash, please. Four out of four. Here we go. My goodness. Use the clues to find the total number of each symbol and set the numbers accordingly. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's start with this one. So I've got one. Basically a heart. Let's count them out here. How many hearts do we have? One. Two. Three. Three it is. All right, let's do the next one now. Bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. There's one, two, three. Is it only three? Let's try from this side. One. Wait, did I not count this one? Yeah, I think there is four, the first one, right? Okay, so four. Oh. Okay, we missed this. Hey, Amber, thank you so much for the follow today. Oh, look at that, it popped up for a change. Thank you. Okay, how many, how many of these are there? There's definitely four of those. One. Two. Three, I only see three of them. All right, let's leave it for now. Let's look at Transformer Face. One, two. Three. Transformer face. The very last, there's only two eyes. One eye, two eye. Transformer face. One, two. The wolf is one? I think there's two though. There's one here and there's one there, right? Let's see, how many... Oh, there's another eye over there. Four. The heart is five? <laughs> there's three eyes. All right, we're doing this together. Let's solve this together. So there's got to be a bunch of these, because look, there's one, two, or not. All right, so let's think about this. Which one are we missing? Oh, no, there's three, though. Three. This is the only one that's like sparkling, so I don't know what to make of that. There's an eye there. There's two eyes. Three. 
I only see three eyes. I'm not sure where you see heart is five. I missed five hearts. Because there's one here. Two. Three. Four. One heart is green. Oh, and I forgot that one up there, too. Wow, this is tough. The green heart inside the crystal. Really? I've asked not to be disturbed. Mm, so, you're Tom, right? You must think I'm a murderer. It's true, I'm a murderer. A vampire of sorts. I kill to prolong my life. But I decided on my own that it was wrong. Now, I take away from killers what they steal. Then I divide it between myself and those who need it the most. I have the case of your father. Look through it, and I'll ask you a few questions. Wanting to make money, Dr. Jack Gilbert prescribed strong psychotropic medicines to students who asked him for psychological help. Okay, that sounds like a bad idea already. Money! Money and students. Ah, uh, poor students. Psychotropic drugs. That's our dad, by the way, Jack Gilbert. So, so our dad prescribes strong psychotropic medicines to students. Dad, bad. The fake medicines caused addiction and the doctor constantly increased the dose. Because the students were bankrupting their families, he suggested they buy these medicines more cheaply in collusion with a fake pharmacist, providing him with more money. Wow, our dad is terrible. Jeez, dad. You wanna date Dorian, do ya? Uh, he's all yours. Despite the multiple lawsuits, Jack always managed to get out of a courtroom without being punished, since no one could prove his guilt. Dad, you're a bad person. So another one is Lawsuit. Here we go. No, it can't be. You're lying to me. Tell me, what would you do to stop your father? If you're so noble, then why did you kill Reed? Did you do it because she wanted to stop you? No. Jane? This can't be. Where is she? So, here's Heartless in the flesh. Dr. Reed quickly confessed. You killed her? Don't even think about it. I must say, you've got an interesting hobby. Margaret, what are you doing? You know, Tom, you saved me, so I won't kill you. For now, I'll deal with you later. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Wake up, son. You must stop her before things get much worse. It's feeling a little twisty here. Margaret. Margaret, don't do it. Margaret. What are you doing? Margaret, put the gun down before you make a mistake. What? You came back for nothing, Tom. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh-oh, I guess there's an fail state here. We gotta talk Margaret down here. Margaret, what are you gonna do? Leave him alone and let's get out of here. I'll become like him. Immortal! Okay. Choices, decisions. But you will be immortal at the expense of others. 
I know now that it's your fault. Other people have already died. Oh boy, I, this is a tough choice. Tanya thinks it's the first choice. Don't forget her. We learned about her history. She had a habit of like destroying other people's lives. So I don't know. The first one. All right, we'll try the first one. But you will be immortal at the expense of others. I know now that it's your fault other people have already died. My fault? You came back for nothing, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get to do it again. How Do we have nine lives? I want nine lives. I guess it's number two. I don't believe you can live by killing people. You don't know me well, Tom. No, <laughs> we don't, obviously. We literally just met, sort of. I know you well enough to know you won't be able to shoot me. Lie! She's already shot us twice. I read your case, Margaret. This can't be true. I don't believe you. Sweet train's got it. Let's go for number two. I read your case, Margaret. This can't be true. I don't believe it. It's true. And you know, Tom, maybe you're right. It's too early to kill Heartless. I need to learn more about their hunt. And there's something I need to change. A little. See, I thought her soul was in some kid. I guess I'm not sure how this happened. Make it so that no one else dies? You'll change the rules? You have no right to decide who lives and dies? Okay, I don't think this is going to cater her. She's kind of a sociopath. So I'm going to go up here. Make it so that no one else dies? You're right, Margaret. What? <laughs> Knew it! Tom, I'll change the rules so that everything will be even more fun than it was. Uh. No, Margaret. Please, stop! I'm tired of this conversation. You shouldn't have come back, Tom. Thank you for saving me in the woods. Goodbye! What the... <laughs> You're a good man. Don't lose it. Maybe someday I'll have no more victims to hunt, and then I'll die. I promise. <laughs> what? I'm proud of you, son. Goodbye. I'm not proud of you, Dad. Dad, you're a horrible monster. Margaret's under arrest. Don't forget, Margaret, uh, very early in the game, she got a, she got her ankle caught in a bear trap next to a crowbar. And in order to save the crowbar, we had to save her. You know, so it was kind of by accident. Uh, and then clearly she, uh, you know, turned on us. But ha ha, ha ha ha, you're under arrest, Margaret. The hunt can't be stopped. The lantern will always be lit for those who deserve it. In memory of my beloved Dr. Jane Reed, who changed my life forever. Whoa, no way! And what did he do with Margaret? Did he let her go? Hang on, I'm confused. Oh my! Look, the light! Oh no! Where? <laughs> if you could see your faces! It wasn't funny. No, it was very funny. <laughs> now, let's get going. Yay! I like that story. That was a good story. A little bit of a twist, a little bit of a, you know, almost like a double twist at the end. We saved Margaret because we thought she was like an innocent victim. Then we learned out Margaret was a terrible, terrible human being. And then she apparently was caught and her soul was stuck in a kid who was sick with cancer or whatever. And then we find out in the final end that she, I guess she was alive or something. 
Oh, look at that! You've got a special thanks in here. Aww. That's very nice. So anyways, kudos to the uh, folks at uh, Maria Golem, uh, Glorium for uh, this game. This game is pretty fun. We still have the bush after to play. But yes, uh, well done. Yay!